Hi there, and welcome to my video today. I am going to take you along on a little journey in my art journal today. I'm going to try something new that I haven't done yet. And this is kind of the beginning of something I used for one of my jelly plate sessions. It was just kind of a runoff with the blue. And then I did like a little stencil over it. And I like to do that in my art journal sometimes just to kind of give me something to begin with. And what I've decided to do today is I'm going to continue painting in here and I'm going to create some patterns, some colors and objects. And then I'm going to paint around the negative space and I'm going to create some actual objects in it. So I think you'll understand a little more as you watch the video. But it's something that I've been wanting to try, and today is the day. So I hope you enjoy watching this, and you can see my process. And any questions you have, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to make more of these just like it for you. Here we go. These are the colors that I kind of just picked on a whim, just whatever I really was attracted to um, just my hot pink fluorescent. This is a light olive green, some teal, turquoise, white. I have Payne's gray, a little phthalo blue, and some lavender. So let's see what they make. So throughout this process, I'm just trying to get some layers down using some stamps and just basic painting and just kind of having fun with the paint and not really worrying about the marks or what I'm doing just yet. I really love using stencils. They're such an easy way to make marks on the paper and kind of just creatively put down shapes without thinking too much about it. So it feels like I'm getting a first layer down, a good kind of first run, and now I'm starting to build the layers. The thing I really love about working in my art journal is that I don't worry too much about creating a finished process, a finished piece, because I'm really just trying things out. This is where I like to experiment, try new things. And this one was kind of a reach for me, trying this way of painting, just putting down all these layers, and then you'll see what I do when I cover them up later, and it creates a whole different feel to the piece. But I would encourage you, if you don't use an art journal, it's a great way to create art without worrying too much about the finished product. It's a great place to experiment. Okay, so I let this dry for quite a bit because I wanted all the layers to be um, solid. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a pencil and draw in some different shapes. Basically, I'm going to stick to natural shapes like leaves and flowers because that's what I generally gravitate towards. And then I'm going to take some paint and paint in the negative spaces. So I will show you how I do it along the way.
So now what I'm doing is just taking my black Posca marker and outlining all of the objects just to kind of bring them out a little more. It gives them a little more character and makes them a little more obvious on the page. Brings them out from the white paint. The thing I like about this piece is that I didn't have a total idea of what I was going to do before I started, and I just kind of let it speak to me. I saw certain objects as I painted, and then I just kind of brought them out from the background. So it was a great way to kind of practice letting go and just trying something new. Some of the paint was peeking out from the background, so I just wanted to put a little extra white. It's titanium white and cover that up a little bit more. But I do like some of the areas that kind of show through, just that little peak of color. Okay, so at this point I'm almost done. I'm just going to take some of my Posca paint pens and add some embellishments and some marks just to kind of bring some of the shapes out. And then I'm going to add the sentiment and see what it looks like. Okay, so here we have it. Here you can see a little of the details up close. The sentiment was bloom. I thought it was pretty appropriate for all the leaves and the flowers. But you can kind of see the under painting and how I painted around it. It was such a cool experiment to try out. Thanks so much for watching today. If you like this video, I'm going to put two more mixed media tutorials right here for you to watch. I hope you enjoy them and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for joining me.